match analysis on me versus Sonic. Okay. Wait, can you guys see? I'm not sure if you guys see. Yeah, you guys can see. Cool. Alright. We're going to do a match analysis on me versus Sonic at the Mortal Kombat 11 reveal. And I'm going to just basically be going over uh, what I was thinking during this uh, whole, you know, exhibition and things. Uh, basically, uh, because, you know, we only, we, me and him both only got 45 minutes to play. Yeah, me and him only got 45 minutes to play uh, before we did our exhibition. And, what's it called? Oh my god, you guys see the forces? Anyways, we basically, during that 45 minutes, we were practicing our characters. Me and Sonic were in the back playing each other, though, so we knew what he, our characters can do. So we weren't looking lost. So maybe that is also a big part of why our set looked at least a little bit more solid than the other sets. But, uh, yeah. I do not want to watch his introduction. Let's just get to the game. Oh my god, do you guys see my jawline? Hold up. Look at my jaw, hold up. Oh my god. Alright, anyways. I remember a big thing they told us was to not skip intros, and the very first thing I do right here is skip intro, and then Sonic restarts. I really skipped intros, like, as soon as they told me not to skip intro. It's stupid though, because you couldn't even hear the dialogue. Look, you can't even hear what the characters are saying. They also got the scores wrong like a couple times. I remember, because I have watched this set before. So basically, we just walk in. I try to uh, play more zone heavy and keep away. Uh, that's Raiden's back one in the Superman. His back one is like really good for anti -ring. Yeah, that restand that Sonic does right there is like plus 10, and then that kick he followed it up with is like a 10 frame like mid. So you can't do anything. I was basically zoning Sonic a lot and uh, teleporting out the corner and get and staying away because like honestly like I didn't I didn't know much about the game, so that's like I was just basically doing like some basic shit. Hick confirmed that into uh, Superman. And Sonic knew that there was a gap in that string because when we're in the back playing each other, we tested if there's a gap in that, and he knew. Look how much damage that does. I was so I was so annoyed right here. I was like, clutch. With Raiden, you actually have to place those uh those lightning strikes. They don't track like Black Adam's uh, Black Magic. You actually have to. He got very. He has very far, and then he has, no. He has far, and then normal, and then close. That uh little forward advancing punch he does right there is a, a high, but it's safe. So. Now Sony is a good pick for Sonic Fox. She, unlike a lot of characters, she doesn't use a weapon, so her range is. I was just grabbing a lot and poking because, uh, honestly, like, you know, the game is still fresh. I don't really know a lot of my options, and that's some basic shit. I tried to cancel that Superman, and it didn't cancel. She's very much a high risk, high reward mix up character, which, and Sonic's so good at predicting how you're gonna block. Sure. Mixing you up. It's, it's, it's a great character for him. That definitely makes sense to me. Unfortunately for Sonic, he's having a lot of trouble actually getting going because Raiden is so good in the mid range. Good thing they had easy fatalities for us. All, all we had to do was know the, uh, you know, the very last button of the input to the fatality. All you have to do is remember that button and know what. Oh my god, look at my jawline. And you had to know where to stand. Honestly, I was having a really good time at the exhibition, uh, during the exhibition, and a really good time at the reveal, bro. They treated, uh, they treated not even just the players, but they treated everybody, uh, really good, bro. There were so many chairs. There was food trucks outside the venue for free. Food wasn't, like, all that, but it was free. Like, it was, like, you could just eat as much as you can until they ran out of food. And they had water, Evo, come on. Get with the program here. Yo, grabs crushing blow. Look at that, 23% because you text the wrong way. If you guys want to know, like, uh, if you guys want to be more informed on how crushing blows work, 
go to Ketchup and Mustard's YouTube channel. It's P N D K N M. What if you block the first hit of a string regularly? Can you then look at that hitbox on that damn lightning? For the second hit of it? Uh, it, it depends on how big the gap is in the string. Okay. I can't remember off the top of my head what the frame. You know, okay, the, yeah, yeah. the nerds can look into that minutia later. For sure. But yeah. There will okay. be scenarios where there's enough of a gap and you can flawless okay. block the second hit and then punish it. But not on a tight string. Right. That back one is such a good anti. -air. I I tried to go for a whiff punish when he whiffed those first two hits, but I was kind of scared. I honestly, like, I was practicing, I was, like, trying to remember hella strings that I was, uh, learning in the back in the back room when we were learning how uh, trying to learn how to play the game a little bit before we were on the upstage and I forgot like all of Raiden's strings I was only using like two strings in this exhibition because I he has like I forgot all of the other strings oh let me get that whip punish boy you saw that whip punish look at that whip punish in the fatal blow look at how much damage this does fatal blow is kind of like kind of stupid I'm not gonna lie but they don't have armor until the fifth frame, which is good. Which I didn't know until after the set, when Sonic told me. Mashing, dude, this whole match is an air game. I could have just did, oh my god. I could have just did back one two lightning right there and chipped them out and took and went up two zero, bro. But it didn't come out. Sonic has like this luck factor, bro. He's like so. People, uh, he he says it's a clutch factor, but bro, it's a luck factor, bro. Anytime somebody's about to beat him. The the gods will be oh you saw the short hop, the god damn, the gods will be like nah bruh, we need Sonic to keep winning bruh. Is this gonna crush him blow? No. Okay, but rewind can't afford that right now. He's too low on life. And rewind's just one basically throw or low even in ship damage territory. Okay. Okay, there he goes. This fatality's sick, bro. Look at this shit. <laughs> Some of the fatalities, I ain't gonna lie, like after one or two times of seeing them, like the, uh, like out of the characters at the reveal, I was already tired of seeing the fatalities. Like Scarlet fatalities, I don't like any of her fatalities, bro. Her fatalities are hella boring. Does MK11 feel different than other NRS games? Uh, it feels the walk speed feels like injustice. The da I heard like apparently everybody like you can dash block like MK9, but it's not near. It's not even like one fourth as fast. Like it is so bad. Dash blocking is not good in this game. I don't know if they're gonna buff it or not. I would rather them buff the walk speed than buff dash blocking to be honest. Cause I like walking. Dash blocking is kind of ugly now that I think about it. I made a poll on Twitter talking about um, how I prefer MK9's movement, but I low-key prefer like a. I just want a injustice walk speed. Like I want everybody to have really fast walk speeds, so everybody can have good neutral, like good uh, just good movement, bro. I hate fucking feeling like I'm in quicksand. Yo, this shit was kind of ugly. We're just like mashing pokes and shit. He he kept trying to parry me because he really just wanted to show off that parry. But I was not gonna man. I was not gonna get hit by that parry. Look at that, bro. Twenty nine damage. I don't know why that crushing blow. Who do you think got the coldest fatality or the coolest fatality so far? I think uh Baraka, bro. Baraka's fatality where he bite like he takes your brain out and bites it. That shit is ridiculous. So you have an incentive to not try, I Look at that, 23% because you take the wrong way, boy. Don't jump. Yo, down two, Rain's down two, I don't know if it's just his down two or everybody's down two, but his down two, like, is so good. Oh, let me get that with punish. Damn, this fool's mashing. Yeah, I just I just kept throwing him because like honestly like Raiden didn't really have doesn't have mix like that it seemed like. Uh, I'm glad Ketchup and Mustard are coming out with these uh combo videos for Raiden so like I can take some shit because I'm not very good at like making things with characters I'm kind of just good at taking what's already out there and just optimizing it. I'm not really uh, good at you know making combos or finding tech I just use the tech and make combos better. Really making hay with those rings. 
I'm good at uh, taking what people have found and making it better. <laughs> or using it better. Look at that. Yeah, I really like watching Sonic just sort of move forward inexorably. It's not super fast each time, but you can see him consistently doing it. What are these two friends going to do when they're not playing this game? Captain Arcane was hella fucked up. Like Mr. Big Bad. Such an emo flight for them, because yeah. you know they're going to be hyped to play all day long. Ready for the He's hella good, yeah. Right angle on it. Oh, there, and there you yep, the give me that interactable. Uh, also, before the set, Sonic said he wanted to pick this stage. He wanted to specifically play on this stage. Damn, I low-key thought I lost this game when he, when I did that. Look at how much damage he does. Yo, that, uh, that's sick, bro. Look at that shit. I got so lucky. Bro, I am so clutch. And I did the freaking Fatal Blow. Since I did the fatal blow, I couldn't even do a fatality, but I didn't want to do that fatality anyway. Uh, Rewind didn't forget about the teleport. He was ready with that. And that's one of those situations where I guess you just don't have any other options. Yo, Sonic's right? always hella happy. You see how happy he is? This fool is just having a good time. I'm be, I was having a good time too. Had blocked that perfectly. If he'd done flawless block, could he have survived Chip instead of? We'd have to look. I'm guessing he still would have. Died. I, don't, okay. I don't remember exactly how much he had. So that doesn't avoid chip death. Though. It doesn't avoid it completely or chip death, but it does do significantly less. Okay. It, it really does matter. I just don't remember that. Like, I have to see that again. Okay, sure. Wow, they're both at even life. Very good use of Raiden's teleport, which I absolutely love the animation. This, this, the way he turns around into it is super cool. Sonic got to play just as much as all of, all of us did, to be honest. Uh, Sonic probably was in the back playing just a little bit more, but I don't know. I was, well, I, I got my, I played, oh, see, I, I, I panic, I panic, um, I panic Fatal Blow right there, because the Fatal Blow is hella fast, so I was just hoping it would hit him. And I still have Fatal Blow. Look at how fast Fatal Blow came back already. I could already use it again. They need to tone down how fast you can do a Fatal Blow after, like, a missed usage. Of the previous and one. Since Rewind used it, but it was blocked, he'll have it again. It only, it only catches out if it actually hits. Got it. Very good zoning from these two. Do you know if that's advantage, that big moving forward kind of red punch? I don't know about What do you think the new big body character will be if no Pharah? I'm not sure, bro. Uh, isn't Garrus considered a big body or is he? Oh, oh, that's the that I was talking about. Was oh my god, the yeah, range that, on it is absurd. The lightning bolt is the hitbox, so yeah, you can you can even hit jump back. So Raiden is so good on the ground and he can really mess you up for trying yeah, Sonic, to Yeah, really Sonic right strong. there, I tried to mash after doing yeah, that I think, I because Raiden, it's safe. And Sonic version. kept doing highs, but he checked he me with a mid. He started right. checking me cool. with that mid. I also really love personally how tall Oh, we are mashing. <laughs> yeah, he's cool looking for sure. Like, this is a, in the MK1 lore, that, that, Look at this stupid restand. Grabs me. He knew I was going to respect the mid, so he grabbed me. He I didn't even want to tech because I wasn't trying to get crashing blowed. I tried to fatal blow him again. He still blocked. Oh, you did go for the low and he... Sonic's got it. Alright, ties it up 2-2. Two, two. Going down to the end. Exactly Looking at Yeah, I was having a good ass time. It was hella fun. Whoever wins, they're definitely gonna hug. There's definitely gonna be a hug. There's just no doubt there's gonna be a hug. <laughs> and I think Sonic Fox actually has a cold, so he'll transfer that with the hug. Okay. To rewind. They could be sick together while tweeting about how sick and OD the game is. Really strong harassment by Sonic Fox, but now into the corner. I was trying to like dagger and like I was I was trying to change my game plan a little bit more because I felt like my original game plan was getting kind of stale. Yeah, that was a nice combo. Sonia looked like she had some good combo ability. I wish I got to try the other variations that Raiden had, but I couldn't because uh they told me that I might as well. Oh my God, you saw the answer? They said you might as well just play God Mode Raiden because everybody, they told everybody before the exhibition started that we're only going to even, we are only allowed to pick the very first variation of the character we're going to use for the exhibition. Oh my god, you saw that? The fact that that crushing blow literally won me that round. Why only the first variation? I'm not sure, to be honest. Maybe they didn't want us to uh, take too much time trying to learn all three variations in the back. Oh, wow. 
Yo, that's definitely a crushing blow. Good thing I didn't even try to take. That is so good. That lightning, that angle that that thing takes. That lightning's good. The the one that's a high is that bad. Like I don't like the straight lightning. That shit sucks. Maybe a little panic on the teleport though. Solo whip punish. Don't mash. Back one two is such a good mid. Or back one is such a good mid. Take confirmable. Back one two is confirmable. He tried to check me and I didn't mash this time. And I missed my hit confirm. I got fatal blow, bruh. I was trying to look for my opportunity to fatal blow him, honestly. That was a very risky break. Yeah, he was certain though. You know Rewan wants to uh, back one is the input. Uh, too easy. Back two, his back two in MK11 is the same as it is in MKX. I try to match out fatal blow right there, not knowing, not knowing that it doesn't have armor until the fifth frame. In MKX, armor comes out on the very first frame. Mine and Sonic sets, or Sonic and mine sets, always go 3 2, bro. I swear. The only sets that didn't go 3 2 were when I beat him at Evo and when he beat me at IPS Finals. My bad, guys. I had a phone call. It's a freaking house phone. But yeah, that's about, uh, that's that set. Uh, but yeah, that's that set, and, uh, yeah. So that was, uh, that was an analysis on, you know, mine and, uh, Sonic set.